Today, I'm going to show you how to control your Streamlabs OBS live streams with nothing but your cell phone using the Streamlabs remote control feature. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you know when we have new content that comes out. In Streamlabs OBS, if you click the little gear button in the bottom left hand corner, and all the way at the bottom of the menu system, you see remote control. This has a little watermark that you're going to take a picture of once you download the app for your phone. To download the app for your phone, go ahead and go into the App Store and search for Streamlabs. You're going to see Streamlabs Deck. That's the one you want. You just download that and add it to your phone. Now you're all set to go. Once you get into the deck, you want to log into the YouTube channel that you're going to be used for live streaming. The same one that Streamlabs OBS is logged into. And of course, it's going to ask for your password, your username, all that kind of fun stuff. Select which account you plan to go live on, if you have multiple. Then, in the lower left of the app on your phone, you want to just click the little remote button. This is going to bring up a QR code reader, and it's going to want to read the one that's on the screen in your Streamlabs OBS. At this point, all you have to do is click on the screen on OBS Studio. It will reveal that image and boom, there you go. You can see that all of my scenes are loaded in here. The rest of the icons are totally dependent upon what you have loaded in your scene. So if I select a scene where I already have soundboard stuff selected, I'll be able to play those soundboard items right here from my phone. I can switch scenes with my phone very easily just by clicking on another button. I can mute microphones, reset widgets, or do any of that sort of stuff right from this screen. As you can see, it doesn't get any easier than this to set it up. The only real requirement is you have to make sure that your phone is on the same network as your computer. And as long as it is, you won't have any problem setting this up. If you happen to be using OBS Studio and you still want to control your live stream with your phone, there is a solution for you. Check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.